Coming up today, scientists have found a way to create diamonds from pet plastics, the same plastic used in water bottles. Stunning photos taken from the International Space Station reveal surreal beauty alongside extreme weather and war on Earth. And it is difficult to imagine a completely frozen zone. There are several of them around the world. Hello, my name is Michael and you're watching MW Newscast. These are the details for today's stories. First, scientists create diamonds out of plastic bottles. There is the hypothesis that diamonds literally rain within the ice giant planet, Uranus and Neptune. Scientists from the Helmholtz Centrum, Dresden Rosendorf, the University of Rostock, and Francis Egal Polytechnic carried out experiments to better understand this phenomenon called diamond rain. They run the experiments using pet plastic, the same material used for water bottles which is composed of a mix of hydrogen and carbon. By creating high-pressure shock waves with optical lasers on the plastics, they manage to mimic the process that take place in those planets. The strong laser flashes that hit the foil-like material sample briefly heated it up to 6000 degrees Celsius and thus generated a shock wave that compressed the matter to millions of times the atmospheric pressure for a few nanoseconds. The scientists were able to determine that tiny diamonds, so-called nanodiamonds, formed under extreme pressure. Man-made diamonds share many of the most important properties of natural diamonds. So as well as being beautiful and luxurious, these nanodiamonds have potential applications for quantum technology and medicine. Interesting discovery, do not try it at home. Next story, time to look back on Earth. Stunning photos show Earth's triumphs and tragedies in 2022. The International Space Station, ISS, located around 400 kilometers, 250 miles above Earth, moves around the planet, completing an orbit every 90 minutes, which allows astronauts to see 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. Astronauts based on the ISS have a unique view from above. They can see both beauty and destruction of our planet. This year's photos reveal beautiful sunsets, moonrises, spewing volcanoes, breathtaking deserts, as well as ugly and devastating extreme weather, hurricanes, and even war. Orbital sunrises are stunning events. The colors spill across the horizon, cutting through the darkness of nighttime on Earth and the blackness of space above. Another beautiful spectacle is the moon rising and setting above the curvature of the Earth. Focusing the lens back to Earth, astronauts can see even more colors in the mind-bending diversity of our planet's landscapes. Like this circular rocky uplift in the Sahara Desert, another circular structure in the icy and rocky Quebec, stunning shots of the aurora dancing across the North and South Poles. But there is also not good images like that of Jürgen Ian, or this lake overrun with red algae because dams and agriculture have drawn so much water from it. What a privilege to see our planet from outside! Last story for today, frozen zoo to save dying species. Since 1970, populations of many species have fallen by 68% on average. According to the WWF Living Planet Report 2020, Around 1 million species, animals and plants are threatened with extinction over the coming decades and centuries. There are various programs to preserve animals, including conventional zoos, which you may have visited. There are other zoos with no visitors and no animals anywhere to see. When Dr. Kurt Bench started collecting skin samples from rare and endangered animals in 1972, he believed that one day the tools would be developed to use them to save those animals. Years later, his collection was moved to San Diego Zoo and was called the Frozen Zoo, arguably one of the most biodiverse places on Earth. The zoo houses over 10,000 stem cells of more than 1,000 species, 
most of them endangered. For long, it was the only project of its kind. In recent years, however, similar conservation projects have sprouted around the world to preserve life cells and genetic material of different species that can be used in the future to bring them back from the brink of extinction. Interesting programs! And that is the end of today's edition. Thank you for watching Emperor Blue Newscast. Subscribe to my channel and share the news with the contacts. My name is Michael and I wish you a wonderful day.